Hello Libras, welcome to your love reading for October 2018. Keep in mind if it resonates, consider a personal reading. My email is below. Just send me an email, we can work that out. I did pre-shuffle these cards. I don't have it on camera because I did something called a scramble shuffle, which isn't the most attractive way to shuffle. Um, it's just what I do for large cards, okay? So let's get to your reading. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, be inclusive about your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, your insight for Libras for love, October 2019. What do you see? What do they need to know? Any messages you may have would be greatly appreciated. Can you please show me energies prior to October 2019 for love? In the Page of Swords in the upright. Can you please show me love energies? For October 2019, we have the Knight of Swords and the Upright. <laughs> wow. And oh, also, um, I'm going to be leaving a link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, an ex, soon to be ex, or whoever was in this reading. And then the other things you need to mention, put in your request for your 2020 Sun Moon readings. I know they go very slowly, but you can look at your 2019 Sun Moon readings while I'm working on them. They're all in my playlist. I'm on Insta, I'm on Facebook, I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a question. It's $4.98. You get it in 24 hours, and then if you could like, share, subscribe, if you like my videos, that would be awesome. Queen of Cups in reversed. So, what's going on with you guys? Okay, I see in the beginning, um, prior to October, you guys are looking in on somebody. I feel like it's you. I, somebody could be looking in on you, but I feel like it's you, okay? That's what the Page of Swords is all about. Look at his, look at his eye kind of looking. I must think of the, um, I don't know, this is going to date me, the song Electric Eye by Judas Priest. If you ever have heard that song, I'm Electric, Electric Eye. Um... Like looking in on someone, seeing their every moves. This is this is what kind of embodies this. So I feel like you're tracking somebody. You're looking in on somebody. You're spying on somebody. You're trying to figure out a truth in regards to somebody. That's usually the Page of Swords can be the CIA card where you observe somebody. You're very alert to the observations. Um, you're you're if, trying to get truth from what you're observing, um, and whether you're going to take action in regards to that or not. Is yet to be seen but very curious about what they're doing it and why they're doing it okay you do get your truth because I see the Knight of Swords here in October so what you find out you are actually blindsided by uh, the Knight of Swords comes in and he definitely exposes this truth and immediately after exposing that truth there's a lot of drama associated with it things happen very quickly things move you forward very quickly Sometimes there can be arguments. Sometimes there can be, um, you know, a lot of friction because of what he kind of brings up. He's not somebody that usually um, thinks before he talks. So you, you will be finding something out that is definitely going to kind of blindside you and take you by some surprise. Very unexpected, very shocking in regards to somebody. Um, and here's where you blow your stack, okay? <laughs> Because we have the Queen of Cups here, and I feel like you cannot get a handle on your emotions in regards to this. Um, you're feeling vindictive, you're feeling jealous, um, you're just having a hard time kind of keeping a cap on your emotions, which is, you know, really unlike you all. Um, so, and another reason why I think this is you guys is because it soars, you guys are air. Um, that's why I kind of believe that, but I feel like you definitely lose your shit here. Um, okay. So why is this Page of Swords here in the upright? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Page of Swords for Libras. Energies prior to October 2019. Who is this person? What is this energy? Okay. We have the Nine of Wands in the upright. For the Hermit card in reverse. Somebody, whoever is you're watching, they know you're being, they know they're, they have, they're suspicious. Um, they're putting their guard up. They might be acting a little bit differently around you. They might be walking on eggshells. Um, maybe the two of you have really been through a, a lot, but this person isn't, um, I feel like they know something's up. And, and if that isn't the case, then you're being very distrustful of this person because you're worried about being hurt and you're trying to protect yourself. So this is why you're kind of looking in on things. Uh, the Hermit card in reverse is the card of Virgo. Um, this person has cut you off. So you you don't feel like they're in your sphere anymore. It's just like they've kind of they've kind of cut you off. They turned your back their back on you. Um, you're feeling very isolated. You're feeling very lonely. 
Um, you're feeling very alone. Um, this person might have withdrawn from you. And here's this Knight of Swords here. And I feel like this is, so I, I feel like it actually happens uh, right between September and October where it, it happens. And then this is where I feel like it kind of blows up. Okay, so this is where the truth I feel like starts to trickle in and here's where it kind of blows up and it's full blown and boom, there it is. You, you have everything in front of you trying to figure out what to do with the big picture that has been presented to you or that you have found out. Why is this Knight of Swords here in the Upright for Libras? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Knight of Swords in the Upright for Libras. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Okay, we have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Might be finding out that this person has been very much about themselves. You know, whatever whatever they want, they th they've been putting their needs first, their things first at, at any cost, okay? Um, you might have been, you know, thrown under the bus because of this, because this person is a narcissist, this person's very selfish, they're all about themselves. Um, it could affect, the, it could be affecting the family, there could be unhappiness in the home because of it. I feel like um, when I saw the Ten of Cups, a family getting kind of ripped apart. Um, you know that you kind of need to, you need to do something about this. I think... I think with the Nine of Swords here in reverse, how you're thinking this is going to go down is worse than it's how, how it's actually going to be. Um, and you are going to come out of this, okay? But I, I, I feel like it's a, you know, whatever this is, that's the thing about the Nine of Swords. Like, however it's going to go down, it's really not as bad as you think it's going to be. You're going to be able to come out of it. You're going to be able to move on. But it really does shake up the household. It does does really shake things up when you find what you find out. Why is this Queen of Cups here reverse for Libra? We you move out of October into November. Who is this person? Who is this energy? Additional messages for the Queen of Cups in reverse for Leos as they move out of October into, oh, it's an affair. Okay, so they're seeing somebody else. Somebody has been brought into this. Either there has been um, an affair, a betrayal of some sort, a third party, something went a little too far. And this is probably what makes you kind of lose your shit. And King of Swords, some of you might be consulting a lawyer, a financial advisor, to figure out kind of what to do in regards to this. But you see this clear as day with the King of Swords. Not only that, you feel like you need to take the initiative to do something. You need to do it with honesty. You need to do it with um, pure detachment. Um, be detached from it. We have the Chariot card in reverse, which is the card of Cancer. Um, this, this has really gotten off track okay this is this is you don't you feel like you don't have any control over this anymore um, you feel like you're at this person's mercy um, for some of you, you might feel powerless and, and that might be feeding into this um, so here you are with the page of swords again trying to you know gather as many notes as you can get as much information as you can between the page of swords and the king of swords I think some of you are going to be um, starting a legal process of some sort to kind of get things rolling. Um, and Page of Swords sometimes for me could be like a contract. Um, you know what I mean? Like, you know, a divorce contract or a decree of some sort, kind of getting that, kind of getting that started. Um, yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. Gosh, I feel like all my readings have been negative. I, I'm sorry about that, but I mean, it's better off. I mean, it, it can be a negative message, but then, you know, the positivity that comes out of it, it's better to find out than go on, you know, inevitably like this, um, you know, on and on and on. So, um, and, and it's good. What I like is that you're taking the initiative and deciding to do something about it and gathering your notes and things like that. Um, even though you feel powerless, even though you feel betrayed, even though your emotions are kind of all over the place, you still have your head about you, okay? Um, and you're probably going to deal with it in a pretty uh, pretty fair way um, because that's kind of how the King of Swords is. You know, he's really objective. He makes the best decision for everybody, all parties. Um, very wise, very intellectual. So if it's not you, it's somebody that's going to be advising you in this situation, okay? So I'm like, oh, on that note, <laughs> click on the link below uh, for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current, an ex, a soon-to-be ex, or the person in this reading. Usually it gravitates that way. If you need a personal reading, send me an email. We can set that up. And then check out my 2020 sun moon readings and my 2019 in my playlist, along with my cat compatibility readings in my playlist. I'm on Insta. I'm on Facebook. 
and I'm on the Instant Go app if you need a quick answer to a question. 498, you get it turned in 24 hours. And then finally, if you could like, share, subscribe, and support me if you like my videos, I would sincerely appreciate that. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.